Inflammation is a response of the body's defense system to some kind of irritation. Acute inflammation is usually a response to some infection or injury and is marked by the easily recognized red, hot, swollen, and painful and is the outward manifestation of the body defending itself against a perceived threat. Chronic inflammation is different. It's a constant, low-grade response to a long-standing subclinical irritant. It amounts to basically the body turning on itself. It's not normally marked by those classic signs of acute inflammation, but the damage is slowly, insidiously being done. Chronic inflammation is difficult to recognize until enough harm is done to become clinically significant. It's like corrosion or termite damage, but in the human body it contributes to serious problems like heart disease, cancer, arthritis, COPD, and dementia. There are a number of recognized general causes of chronic inflammation. Among the most common are being overweight, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, chronic stress, smoking, chemical toxins, and even gum disease. You could write a book on each of these, but I would like to mention some of the basics of dietary stress. First of all, I want you to know that regarding chronic inflammation, diet can either be the culprit or the solution. As a culprit is a standard American diet or the acronym SAD diet. And it's just that, SAD. Sometimes it's even called the meat and sweet diet or the fast food diet. It's high in animal fats, meat and dairy, highly processed foods, sugar, and often cooked at high temperatures. It's lacking in fiber, complex carbohydrates, and plant-based foods. The SAD diet creates free radicals that attack our body, and at least in part accounts for the fact that in the U.S., one out of two people die from heart disease, and one out of three succumb to cancer, to say nothing of the fact that inflammation accelerates the aging process. Cultures that eat the reverse of the SAD diet have much less cancer and coronary heart disease. By eliminating meat and dairy, and processed foods from the diet and increasing the intake of fiber, raw fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, you can cut the heart attack risk by over 90%. Nutrients that are known to combat chronic inflammation include vitamin C, E, selenium, and highly colored carotenoid plants. Three to four hours a week of physical exercise and a restful night's sleep also diminish stress and inflammation. While science looks for drugs and surgery to treat the diseases caused by chronic inflammation, a huge part of the solution may be right on your plate. Joy Houston celebrity vegan chef says, eat like your life depends on it, because it does. And remember, whatever you put in your shopping cart is gonna end up on your plate. So shop like your life depends on it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head on over to youtube.com slash sunwarriortribe and subscribe.